This is a non-sponsored review and tutorial. The opinions and views of the products or services are my own and are not influenced by the manufacturers. Hi, and welcome to my review and how-to guide for Filmic Pro. Cinematic style. On a budget. Point of reference, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy 9 phone as a host. To start, let's talk about cell phone rigs and the gear that you'll need. I recommend this Universal Transformer rig by Dream Grip. It has handles on either side to help stabilize your camera. And you have plenty of shoe and quarter screw mounts for additional gear. Another necessity for the cell phone filmmaker is an anamorphic lens. Anamorphics give you a wide enough viewing angle without distorting your picture too much. Another great item to add to your budget's filmmakers list is a telephoto lens. In this format, they're really not too expensive. Once open, you'll notice there are two controllers, one left, one right. The right controller is focus and zoom. The left is ISO and f-stop. Let's discuss the zoom and focus controls and setting up the A and B hard stops. This line is the hard stop set point. We'll set our wide shot here. Then set our tight shot here. Zoom back out, then trigger your AMARC, then Filmic Pro will automatically zoom between the two points. This is the speed adjuster. You can adjust the speed of your focus and zoom pulls by moving the adjuster up and down. Note, you also have pull markers and speed adjusters for your ISO and f-stop manual controls. As a filmmaker, there are times where you need a little less manual and a little more auto. This button toggles between manual and auto controls. When in auto, you'll see a circle and a square. The square is autofocus and the circle is auto f-stop and ISO. And then there's a lever to your right for your zoom. When you press the autofocus square, Filmic Pro will autofocus on whatever is in the square. It's the same for the auto f-stop slash ISO circle also. Moving on to the meter tray, or what Filmic Pro calls live analytics. These are a set of four meters that can be accessed by toggling this button. These four meters from left to right are named zebra stripes, clipping, false color, and focus peaking. Zebra stripes. Blue stripes will show underexposed parts of your image. Red stripes will show overexposed parts. Clipping. This functions as your luminance meter. Blue shows low clipping, or closest to black level, and red high clipping. False color. This exposure meter displays a good exposure with a green tint. Overexposure in red, and underexposure in blue. Focus peaking. This focus meter displays focus as a blue color and peak focus in green. Histograms. Filmic Pro has three histograms. You can access them by toggling a timecode display. The three histograms are luminance, luminance plus RGB layers, and a waveform monitor. 
All are displayed on peak to peak charts. Oh wait, while we're here, I wanted to point out the other item displayed with the time code generator. This is the battery slash power display. This is the storage meter. A side note here is that Filmic Pro doesn't seem to perform a continuous pre-read of storage. So when this turns red, stop recording. Give Filmic Pro a chance to finalize your record. You would hate to lose your footage. This is your frame rate display. And this is your resolution display. I have my settings at 24 frames per second at 4K. The other continuous displays on the Filmic Pro front panel are your color temperature readout. We'll delve more into this when we get into setting our color temperature and white balance. And this meter right here. This is a great feature. It displays your film quality and how many minutes you have left. We'll go over film quality when we get into the settings menu. Color temperature and white balance. Filmic Pro has a number of options in this menu setting, including options to film in raw format. This tricolor icon will open up your color temperature and white balance settings. There are two other options at this menu level. This icon opens up your gamma grading settings. For this, you'll need Filmic Pro's Cinematographer's Kit. As I mentioned earlier, I'm running Filmic Pro on a GAL 9 and the processor can't really handle the Cinematographer's Kit. But if it could, this is where I would have access to filming in RAW. This next icon opens up your noise reduction settings. Again, you will need the Cinematographer's Kit. But this does show how much control Filmic Pro does give you over your image. Color Temperature The Color Temperature menu has four white balance presets and two customizable presets. From left to right they are Incandescent Daylight Overcast and Fluorescent This is your auto white balance. Red indicates a locked white balance. Gray indicates white balance in manual control. In manual control, you can use the color palette to adjust your temperature and tint on the fly. The settings menu. There are 15 sub settings in this directory. Many of these settings have their own nestled menus. You can access the settings menu by toggling this icon. Resolution setting. Filmic Pro gives you a variety of aspect ratios to film in. From 16 by 9, 17 by 9, 3 by 2, 1 by 1, 2.2 by 1, 2.76 by 1, and the old school analog TV standard of 4 by 3. And you also have a 2.39 by 1. You have your choice of recording bandwidths also, maximum being 4K at 2160p, 3K at 1836p, a 2K at 1152p, and you have a standard high def at 1080p, a low high def at 720p, and a standard def at 540p. Keep in mind, typically the larger your bandwidth, the faster you eat up your storage space. Filmic Pro has a bitrate adjuster also. Filmic Pro Extreme is around 100 megabits. Quality is around 32 megabits per second. If you need to use standard or economy bitrate settings, upgrade your phone. You also have two compression codecs to choose from. HEVC, or better known as H.265, and AVC, better known as H.264. H.264 is a better compression codec to use if you're sending something out to YouTube or Twitter or similar services. The H.265 compression codec is a higher quality rendering process, giving you better footage for editing. Frame rate. Depending on your processor, Filmic Pro allows you to change both capture and playback rates from 24 frames per second to 240 frames per second, depending on your processor. Filmic Pro also allows you to film in time lapse from one second all the way to one minute. You can also control your auto shutter from 50 to 60 hertz. 
Audio. Filmic Pro gives you a few options in this menu. From recording video only, voice processing, which turns on a band filter, and headphone monitoring, as Filmic Pro uses your cell phone mic as primary. A word about audio. It's best just to record audio separately and sync in post. I would recommend a Zoom audio recorder. It's easy to use and it takes a beating. Same with the Rode Wireless. Device. This is where you have options to toggle on features like remote control, orientation lock, stitch recording, and GPS tagging, along with other features. Among them, mute notifications is important, especially when you're filming. Noise reduction and sharpness. This adjusts your focus algorithm. Keep the setting on fast for sharpest picture quality. Presets. Once you have a better understanding of what Filmic Pro can do, presets will save you a lot of time and setup. CMS, or Content Management System, is Filmic Pro's file naming and archive management setting. By default, Filmic Pro stores your files in a separate file folder that's in your phone's DCMI file. That's titled Filmic Pro. Toggling this will allow you to store your files to an online Samba server. Also by default, Filmic Pro applies a date and a timestamp to each clip that you film. This setting allows you to give a specific title to each clip. Hardware. This setting has options to run Filmic Pro with various types of gimbals or different lens adapters. The sync and the community button give you access to Filmic Pro online and other online services geared towards the Filmic Pro user and cell phone filmmaker. Flashlight. This is the Filmic Pro still camera app. Just like their cinema camera, the Flashlight still camera has an array of settings, filters, and timing options. Some are readily available. Others are with additional purchase. Stabilization. Filmic Pro combines a number of algorithms to achieve its image stabilization. There's an OIS and an EIS setting, or you can combine both for maximum stabilization. Camera. If you have a cell phone camera with more than one lens, you can choose which lens you want to use from here. Torch. This is your camera's flashlight. This sometimes can be your most useful light source in certain filming situations. Grid. This is Filmic Pro's alignment grid. So you can use the rule of third formula all you want. Information. This is where you can access your quick start guide, user manuals, tutorials, and support page along with your software's original version number and build. Filmic Pro updates often, so check their website for current documentation. Last thoughts. Filmic Pro packs a lot of features into this app. It does a good job at emulating some of the features of a standalone cinema camera. For acquiring certain types of footage, Filmic Pro turns your phone into a pretty good main camera. But the app turns your phone into a great B or C camera. The convenience of the phone and the power of the app make Filmic Pro a great addition to your cinematic toolkit. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, give us a like. And if you want to do us a good turn, subscribe and leave a comment or really make yourself part of the process and drop us a show idea and we'll try to produce it in an upcoming video.